Yo, what is up guys? Blake here bringing you a special video today. So in this video, instead of a normal, you know, PvP video like I typically upload, we're going to be talking about the best gear setup for each school in ma at max level for PvP. This is a super highly requested video and I thought why not just do them all in one uh, and just have it in one place. So quick disclaimer, this is my opinion. You might have different setups that you like that I may not discuss in this video. I'm kind of just talking about the most used ones and what I think are the best. You might be like, oh Blake, this this ward setup is really good or you know I use you know this robe that nobody uses and it works really well for my school I'm talking about you know the specific nor I mean the, the normal setups with gear that kind of everybody has access to so let's just get right into it so for fire here are the stats that I think are the best if you're going for an overtime strat so you got 9,100 health which is ridiculous you basically have the health of a death wizard uh, 157 damage which is insane uh, 38 resist which obviously is bad oh I'm missing a jewel actually the undauntable so just add an extra five resist to that so you'd have 43 res, 31 accuracy, and then 425 crit, which is really decent with 434 block. 38 pierce, which is high compared to other schools. A little bit low for fire, but it's pretty good. And then you got solid pips and amazing shad rating. So the way that you get this gear is with the three-piece set bonus, Dragoon hat, Dragoon robe, and the Dragoon boots. And then because you have that three-piece uh, set bonus, which gives you the damage and everything else, you can use the Uber Athane, which gives you more damage and more health, and the Uber Amulet, which is just a huge huge upgrade from the dragoons you still get that damage it's worth it for the wand i definitely remember remember uh i'm sorry not remember recommend the executive thermometer it is extremely good uh it gets everything you need you don't really need pick and serve as fire it is nice for cards like steel charm stuff like that but to have all the other stats this wand is just beautiful uh then you got the duelist ring you'll see me use this on every single character i don't think there's a single school that i don't use this ring it's just so unbelievably good for the peer so definitely definitely do some tournaments get some tickets and get this ring before you do rank peak. Uh, for the pet, you can kind of do whatever you want. Uh, this is personally what I think is the best pet, which would be a triple damage, double resist furnace pet on a Frillasaur. That way you can use the mount and get an extra eight damage. It's cracked for fire to get an extra eight damage. So you could also go for, uh, you know, a different pet. Um, if I wanted to change my gear a little bit, you could, for example, uh, use turquoise robe instead if you're going for like a trap stack. I just don't like turquoise robe because you lose block, you end up losing, you do get damage, but you lose shads and all honestly that's like losing damage because you get shads at a slower rate but turquoise robe does work you can do that there are some resist setups as well uh you could go for like you know uh malice their hat or something like that it just with resist with fire it doesn't really make sense so this is what i think the best setup is if you wanted to go for a trap stack setup i would probably keep the gear the same like i said you could do turquoise robe the only thing i would really change is that i would probably switch to this pet my boy peanut so it's the exact same stats it's just instead of on a frillasaur to get the extra eight damage you get the uh the beetle pet i mean the scary net which gives you a fuel card and the beetle and then instead of this i would probably use the clockwork courser to get an extra two pierce and get it up to 40 but otherwise these stats are really good for fire and that's 100 percent what i would recommend uh as like you know the, the best setup for fire in this meta right now so let's move on and go to ice Alrighty, so next up on the list, we have the Behemoth. And honestly, I don't really want to show this one because Ice is just so broken right now. I mean, so is Fire, but uh, Ice is just so incredibly broken right now. When I see people using these stats, uh, a part of me dies inside. So I don't really want to show this, but I am going to show all the schools. So here is the best setup for Ice. Uh, you open up the page and you see these numbers and you start to lose your sanity. 10,788 health. That is absolutely ridiculous for still having over 100 damage and then you take a look at the resist and i mean look at this you're awarded to every school and this is without using a ward pay it's insane so you have a ton of resist your accuracy is a little bit low but keep in mind if you use a sleet storm pet pet your accuracy goes up to 100 also as an ice you can afford to fizzle and on top of that your only cards that are lower accuracy are shads everything else is typically high enough accuracy um you know you have a few cards like you know snow shark and stuff which are low accuracy uh but your non shads it chat hits for example like lord of winter uh is 80 percent right it's uh an 80 percent card so you wouldn't have any problems fizzling it and then you could always pierce and chat like i said uh 420 critical which feels a lot like you know 10,000 to be honest with you 612 block which really feels just like 612 block ice is just cracked uh and then you have 34 pierce which is still really really solid 92 pips which is low but keep in mind you you use a lot of odd pip spells as an ice wizard polar swarm frostbite weaver ice uses a lot of cards like these that 
that are uh, odd pips. So to have uh, fail pips at 92 isn't really that big of a deal. Uh, the only problem with this setup is that your shads are low. 109 is pretty low in the setup. As you'll see in most of the schools that I run, I run a lot more shad rating, something upwards of 125 typically. So <laughs> you will notice yourself sometimes getting out shadded. Not always though, and ice is still a behemoth. And honestly, you don't even need shads on an ice. You can kind of do whatever the hell you want. So ice is just crazy like that. These are the stats that I would recommend. And here's the gear that I use. So you got the Croc Hat, Dragoon Robe. You got the Dragoon Boots, uh, the Road Legend Skull so that you can get the set bonus with the pet. As you can see, you get three resists, which is just absolutely nuts. Uh, and then you've got the uh, Dragoon Athame with the Uber Amulet as well, uh, the Duelist Ring. And then uh, my boy Slim Chan. Personally, I think that you're better off going with, uh, for example, like a Sleet Storm pet. Like, I got this one. Hold on, let me find it. Uh, I don't know where it is. There it is. So you could use this one, right? I have two different pets. So if you really just don't want an aura, you could go with the one on the left, like I said, the triple double mighty. Uh, but in my opinion, I think you're better off sacrificing mighty in exchange for an aura. So Sleet Storm is really good. I have two different pets, uh, like these two, as you can see. One of them, I socket Brace Defy, and one of them, I socket Dragon Lance when I want to. But yeah, at the end of the day, uh, if you're really sweating, you want the Road Legend Skull with this pet to get the extra res. But again, you do not need it. And then I use the Clockwork Courser personally. Uh, you'll see me use this on a lot of my setups but you really don't need them out you could just take this off and your stats would still be absolutely insane let me put the right pet back on so my stats don't look weird your your stats would still be cracked you know what i mean you still have, your pierce would be 32 but you know what i mean you really don't need them out you could go with the rock mount as well if you want a little bit more pips you can really do whatever you want like i said uh typically if i was running this setup i would probably use my dragon lance pet with the clockwork courser and then have like 97 pips and d lance for an ice is just busted and then uh, on all my characters i use the duelist 130 deck as well uh, it's just really really good. So yeah, that's the best setup on a knights If you want to go for a blade stack strat like I've been doing with like frost minotaur and stuff like that uh, What I would recommend doing is probably going with either dragoon's hat uh, Or you can you know, you can kind of just mess around with your stats uh, But you want a sharpened pet So I would use for example like my infall or my fortified sharpened pet uh, Depending on what setup I want to go for so yeah, those are the best stats for ice now. Let's go to storm Alrighty, so for the Storm Wizard, I think that these are the best stats in the game personally. Uh, you could also go for a resist setup as well, but in my opinion, I think five piece goons is king on the storm, unless you're doing some weird like ward setup like I have been doing, but even then you don't even need it. So I would recommend this pet inside. But yeah, let me show you guys the stats. So you get 8,000 health, which is pretty low, but it is decent for the storm wizard. Obviously, it's pretty high. Uh, you get 137 damage, which is nowhere near fires. And when I showed you guys fire stats, you remember I had 9.1k health i believe and like 157 uh fire damage which is ridiculous so the difference in 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 health and damage is just nuts compared to those two schools but uh storm still gets some decent stats you know what i mean 44 res which really feels like nothing uh you got 34 accuracy which means that you do have a one percent chance of fizzling only certain spells which are typically your shad spells and that's if you don't have galvanic i and no pierce enchant i have never fizzled with 34 accuracy to this day um so it's really not a problem you could be like blake you need perfect accuracy but i'm telling you i lose much more games because for example i didn't critical i didn't block than not having perfect accuracy so of course try to go for perfect accuracy but it's not the end of the world if you can't get it is what i'm trying to say treat it like other stats like critical and stuff like that so then you get 458 crit and 439 block um this is probably one of the characters I have the most high crit but i feel like i crit the least and i get blocked the most which is really weird and then i have solid block you know what i mean like 440 block is decent but i feel like i rarely rarely block on the storm uh but you know sometimes it does happen 41 pierce which is very very solid perfect pips you might be thinking yo blake 106 pips uh isn't that a little bit overkill uh you know what i mean like you, you get the 10 pips from here right so isn't that a little bit overkill wouldn't you rather do like you know uh double uber for example like i could go uber this and i could use uber and use the universal one and then you'd have nine six pips um i personally prefer going with uh just the double dragoons for two reasons one of them is that uh the difference between 106 or 96 is pretty big right it's basically the difference between 96 and 100 and that four percent does matter a lot uh storm doesn't have an aura that gives you pips like the spirit schools do right so if you if you go for a combo and you fail pip that can be absolutely devastating so having perfect pips is really really important um it allows you to go for combos in confidence that you're not going to pip fail or that there's going to be some rng preventing you from doing that uh so it's just really important and then on top of that as well not only does uh the dragoon and dame and the uber uh 
uh, Dragoon Amulet gives good stats, but it gives this card the Squall Wyvern, and this is extremely good. Since you don't really want to pack uh, Calypso into your deck, it's a really good 4-pip hit that does very good damage, and on top of that, it's an AoE, so I generally pack 1-2 to two of these in my deck, and this setup just feels really nice. Even if it didn't give this card, I'd still probably go for the 5-piece, because getting from 96 to 100 is just huge. Uh, for the rest of the gear, Duelist Ring, again, like I said, um, oh yeah, I didn't even show the gear, I think, so I got the Dragoon Hat, Dragoon Robe, Dragoon Boots, and then, like I said, the, the Dragoon Athame and the Amulet to get the 5-piece set bonus. For the wand, you definitely want the exact wand. This is the best wand for Storm and for a lot of schools. It's just so good, and the best thing about it is that it's free to play. What I love about it is that it's got all the things that are good in this meta. Um, you don't get block, which is unfortunate, and you don't get pip conserve, but other than that, you get everything. And I basically refuse to use wands that don't give me shad rating, unless I'm like a busted ice or something like that, because I lose so many games because I just get out shadded. So for me, using like a wand that gives at least 13 shads is like a must on most setups. So you get the shads, you get great pierce, great damage, and solid critical to match it, as well as wand hits of your school, which are good for breaking shields. But personally, I don't pack them because I have lining of. Um, then for the pet, you can do different stuff. Personally, the baby dactyl is the best pet for Storm, in my opinion. Uh, it gives a beetle card, and honestly, you don't need more than one because you can always pack uh, more on your side. I don't even pack in my main deck beetle. And then more importantly, that is the storm man. It's such a good card. I have won games off of a well-timed storm man because they don't see it coming. They don't plan around it, and it's just huge. It can change the tides of the game. So uh, the baby dactyl is really good, and this is what I would recommend. Triple damage, uh, double resist, and may cast galvanic. Very good in this meta. You could also go for this pet that I made recently, a ward pet. Uh, if you go for more of a resist setup, I would only recommend warding to fire and ice. And typically, I wouldn't show wards on different school. Uh, but for storm, it is very, very difficult to beat an ice, uh, uh, particularly, right? A good ice that knows what they're doing will rarely, rarely lose to the storm unless they horribly deck fail or all the RNG in the game goes to the storm. Other than that, the ice, if they know what they're doing, will win basically every single time because cold, cold iron, weaver, and just ice stats in general are too powerful. Uh, so if you are going to ward, I would recommend Tyson and fire. You could do that instead, but you really don't need to. Um, you could also do the set bonus pet. Where is it at? I know I have it somewhere in my backpack. It's my boy Joey. There he is. Uh, you could do this, right? But the thing is, you do lose that uh, Storm Man card, and I feel like the set bonus isn't really that much worth it. If you don't have the Clockwork Courser, then it might be nice. Um, but in general, I don't even think using this pet is worth it. Like I said, the Storm Man is so good. And then I use the Clockwork Courser personally, but you really don't need a mount. Uh, you'd still have 39 Pierce, which is really good. And then the Duel's Deck, level 130. And that's the setup for the Storm. So next up, let's go to the Death. Alrighty, so here's what I think the best stats are on the Death Wizard, and these stats I really, really like. I feel like it just complements Death's playstyle really, really well. So you get 9.2k health, and if you remember from the beginning of the video where I showed my fire stats, you literally have like 100 more health than a fire, which is ridiculous. You do get a lot more uh, res. I believe you get exactly 20 more res, which obviously is huge, uh, but it's crazy, you know what I mean? You lose like 45 damage, I think it is, which is absolutely nuts, but you still get decent damage. Uh, the damage is low, but that's kind of how Death Wizards are. Your base damage is low, and you make up for that with your crazy good buffs. You really don't need uh, super good base damage on a school where you buff yourself a lot. So that's why 112 uh, base damage really isn't bad at all. Uh, for a Death, it's actually pretty solid. You get really good res, nice flat resist, accuracy, so you can power everything. Really solid block and crit. I find myself critting and blocking a good bit on the Death. With solid pierce, 36 pierce for a school like Death, where you have a lot of things to bypass shields, like Minotaur. Uh, poison, Bone Dragon, uh, you know, you Shrike and you hit through shields and stuff like that. So 36 Pierce is really solid and more than enough, honestly. Uh, and then you get 99 Pips. I rarely, rarely, if ever, Pip fail. It does happen sometimes, though. 32% uh, Pip Conserve and then 127 Shad. You will also notice on a lot of these setups, I sacrifice Pip Conserve. It's a very, very good talent and definitely an underrated one. Uh, but I feel like it's not as good as for most schools as other stats like Shad Rating or Critical or pierce or damage so that's why you'll see me with kind of low uh pip conserve on most setups except for a school like balance for example but yeah those are the stats and then for the gear i got the croc hat with the dragoon robe dragoon boots and dragoon a theme so that i can get the triple bonus uh it's nice to get a little bit of pip conserve i think it gives like 20 percent or something like that and the extra damage is good too it's just worth it to go for the three piece uh set bonus all the time then i've got the exec wand uh with the uber amulet because i do have an open slot for 
for the amulet. I don't need to use the dragoon one. Sometimes I wish that I did because then I would get that AoE card, which is really, really clutch to just have a four pip hit. But you can live without it. And I prefer the Uber one just because it gives much better stats. Duelist Hunter Ring, of course, like I said. Uh, this is the pet that I personally enjoy using. Double damage, double resist, virulence, and dragon lance. If you don't have dragon lance, just substitute the pips and exchange. Go for extra damage. You can uh, compensate for the lack of pips because you would now be at 94 by switching from Croc Hat to Malister Hat. That would bring you up to 96. And or use the Rock Mount, which would bring you to either 99 or 97, depending on, uh, you know, if you use the Mali Hat and it or not. So yeah, that's what I would recommend if you don't have the D Lance Jewel. Or you could rock a pet like this, uh, my boy Shadow, if you really want Vengeful. I know Vengeful is extremely good. I just personally don't like, don't like using it. Death has so many other spells and stuff. You don't need it. But it is a great spell, don't get me wrong. So if I were to use Shadow, for example, I would probably switch from Croc Hat to Mali Hat. And that would allow me to have 96 pips, which would just feel a little bit better. Because I don't want to go with less than 95. Uh, because Virulence brings you up 5%, right? So I wouldn't want to be under 100% uh, with Virulence on. So yeah, that's probably what I would use instead. And then again, the Duelist 130 deck. Mount really doesn't matter. I personally use the Clockwork. You can use Rock Mount, depending on what you have. But yeah, that's the setup for the deck. Let's go on to the Myth. Alrighty, so for the Myth Wizard, I'm going to show you two different setups because the setup that I use kind of has a lot of gear that's not easy to get. So anyway, let me just show you this first setup. This is what I think is the best for Myth if you're not using Ward or anything like that. You get 8.4k health, which is really, really solid. 115 damage, 64 res, which is really high for a Myth. And you can definitely feel it. People don't usually expect you to be that tanky as a Myth and it comes in clutch. 26 res, uh, I mean accuracy, which is more than enough. Uh, you can power everything. Uh, you get 400 credit for 11 block 37 pierce which is pretty decent uh you remember fire has 38 with the setup i showed or 40 depending on what pet you use if you're not using turquoise rope which is pretty nice um and then you got 94 pips i'm just i have the ortho socket on right now but you would typically have 94 pips which is low i do notice myself pit fail so sometimes i switch mounts but then you got 120 shad rating which is fantastic with 31 pip conserved so what i use personally is the mouser hat with the spooky robe like i said this is the, uh you you got to get it from a bundle so it's not easy to get uh but i do think it is the best for myth and then you have dragoon boots with the exact wand again you'll see me using this in a lot of setups it's just so unbelievably good and then i got the dragoon a theme and the amulet to get the triple bonus because i'm not using the hat or the robe so i gotta get it from the boots a theme and amulet and packing this uh bad boy the basilisk in your deck is just so good i use it all the time on my myth so that's why dragoon amulet for myth is really good and the uber upgrade isn't really that much better anyway i think it's only like one resist so you're not missing out on much do a swing again i use this on all my setups and then this is the pet that i use double damage double resist reliquary and d-lance basically identical to my dad pet that i use except with reliquary and on a maple moose with mid damage so yeah uh, again if you don't have dragon lance or spooky rope i'll show you another setup after i'm just showing you the one that i use personally then i use the clock recourser but if i feel like i'm pit filling too much with 94 i'll switch to the rock mount give up a little bit of pierce and then i got the duelist deck uh which again normally i would talk in pips but i was doing an ortho strat so yeah that's one setup you can do now let me show you a so here's another setup um also about the other setup i just showed uh if you don't have spooky robe what you could do instead uh, is basically just substitute the spooky robe for the dragoon robe and then you can ch uh, change the amulet or the adame to one piece of uber and then rock the exact same stats if you don't have dragon lance just do extra damage on your pet and i believe that dragoon gives you much more pips right yeah you get four extra pips so your pips would be 98 you wouldn't even need dragon lance so yeah that's what i would do instead this is another cool setup though it's basically the five piece goon so use the dragoon hat dragoon robe a dragoon boots with the a theme and the amulet to get that five piece bonus you get the extra 10 percent pips with still the exact one the duelist ring the same pet and everything you don't even need dragon lance on your pet but as i showed you uh when i rock these stats and this is with using uh, uh giving up a triangle socket to get orthrus right you'll notice the stats are pretty good 9,000 health 127 damage perfect accuracy the res is low but it doesn't matter you've got really good critical really good pierce and block and look at this perfect pips and amazing shots and that that's with giving up a socket so uh you could do this with pips and then you wouldn't need dragon lance for example or you could just take off dragon lance entirely and then use this to get uh accuracy or something like that if you were worried about mantles whatever that is another cool setup or you could do like i said the puppy setup and just go for five piece it works pretty cool on the mid so yeah now let's move on to the life wizard 
Alrighty, so life is kind of in a weird spot right now. Uh, I don't do that much life PvP compared to the other schools because it's kind of weird. You either play super defensively and heal and kind of jade, or you kind of play aggro and get wrecked most of the time. I'm going to try to do some cool strats in the future uh, where I might blade stack or trap stack or something like that. But anyway, let me show you what I think are really good life stats. So this is without using a set bonus. You could also use, for example, the Pantera and then use the Rapture Rider Skull, which is pretty good. I just feel like you lose too many shads for a life and then they get too much damage output on you and you lose pipkin serve so i feel like sacrificing both those stats aren't good typically you want to sacrifice one or the other but yeah that's just my personal preference but it does work so you get about 9.8k health 9.9 110 damage 63 res uh i have very low uh flat resist because i have some healing sockets in but yeah you get uh 20 accuracy which is more than enough 376 crit which is abysmally low but you can still crit 500 block which is very solid 38 pierce again which is uh the same as my fire but i do use uh pierce on my pet and the clockwork courser 98 pips which is very solid amazing shads and then 30 pip conserve this is what i would use if i was kind of going for a normal sort of aggro life setup so let's say you know i was playing off like brown spider and shads and stuff and i wasn't really healing too much outside of scion this is the setup i would use let me show you the gear now so mali hat for sure is what you want to go with unless you're doing some glass cannon setup dragoon robe is extremely good i would definitely recommend it over spooky it is nice to get an extra four resist from spooky but you lose a bunch of health you lose pierce you lose pips you lose block it's not worth it the extra four resist you already lose the health and stuff in my opinion it's not worth it but you can make it work if you get a lot more resist uh dragoon boots this is with every setup like i said the wand this is where you can kind of do three different setups so personally i like the exact wand again just because it gives you the big stats you know your your critical your pierce your damage and shads but you can also use this one the merry wrapping paper if you're like dude i don't even critical anyway you might as well swap to this one right you get one extra pierce uh and then on top of that you do get uh 260 universal pip conserve which is extremely good you do lose those life one hits which like i said does come in clutch especially for school like life that can't really break shields easily especially of their own school uh but pro tip you can actually pierce spirit shield so um you know it, it's kind of just whatever you want and then another option that you could do of course is the rapture rider skull this one right here like i said if you wanted to go for the set bonus but again the reason why i don't lose this use this is because i feel like i sacrifice too much of my stats i feel like if i'm giving up uh pip conserve and shads i'm at such a horrible disadvantage unless i'm playing very defensively it can work uh like i said the extra three res is nice but it really comes down to what you want at the end of the day with this setup personally i use the uber theme and the dragoon amulet you could swap it and do dragoon theme with the uber amulet i just don't have the uber uh amulet for life which is extremely good the other thing about it too is that um it's nice to use this amulet because you get that spell card again remember and having a four pip hit that's an aoe and does really good damage in uh you know a, an era where we can't use pre-enchants is huge so um even if i had the uber amulet i might use this instead if i'm playing a little bit more aggro the uber knife compared to dragoon is huge as you can see it's just a full upgrade so really comes down to how you want to play at the end of the day but yeah it's pretty solid um and then i got the duelist hunter ring this is the pet that i use personally uh make cat fortify on a life as much as i hate it is really important uh just because you don't have uh the make cast school aura and then info doesn't really cast so you can't really go with an offensive aura and then a school like life anyway you kind of need to play defensively so fortify really complements life you could do that you could also go for this one as well triple damage double resist fortify you could also go for the pantera and get a set bonus pet like this one uh like i said it really just depends what you want at the end of the day and then the mount personally i use the clockwork courser but you can use whatever you want or no mount at all and then again the duelist deck the reason why i use the duelist 130 deck on all my characters is because it's just solid all around the board good copies good universal block good universal critical and pip conserve there are decks that get health but they typically give you uh less pip conserve or less critical or less block and i feel like it's just not worth it so duelist deck is still my go-to and yeah that's the setup on the life so let's wrap things up on the balance Alrighty, so last but definitely not least is the balance wizard so on the balance i kind of play differently than most people do but this is what i would uh pick as the sort of standard balance setup that's really good with uh generally free to play gear so it depends what you're going for but yeah let me show you the stats so you get about 900 9600 health which is very solid for a balance on top of that you get 122 damage 64 res with 104 flat which is identical to the myth but you have about 1200 health more which is nice uh obviously you don't have as much base damage in 
and stuff, but the stats are really good, and my alarm needs to shut up. Uh, I've got 21 accuracy, which is very solid, and then you got 402 critical, 454 block, 35 armor pierce, and 98 pips with 128 shads, and 32 pip conserves. So, the pip conserve is low. It's because I'm using the exact wand. I'm going to show you different uh, wands that you can use, but these are overall the stats that are solid for bounce right now. So, you want to go with the Mali hat. This is the best hat, 100%. Uh, Dragoon's hat is nice, but again, you lose 13 resist, which is just huge. So, Mali hat is the move. For the robe, I would go with Dragoon. If I was going for like a blade stack setup, I would probably switch to Spooky just because the extra res is really nice. And then on top of that, you do get more accuracy, which is pretty important if you want to use uh, spells that require accuracy of other schools. For example, Steel Ward, Steel Charm are 80%. If you want to use those, it's nice to have extra accuracy. Then I've got the Dragoon boots and the Dragoon at Dame so that I can get that juicy triple bonus. Uh, especially important on a balance because you need Pip Conserve. For the wand, there are different options that you can do on here, so I'll show you all the different ones. Exec wand, you can never go wrong with. Yes, you do give up that Pip Conserve, and that's incredibly important for a balance, so I don't always recommend it, but you do get everything else, which is really nice. Another good option is the Festive Wrapping Paper. Uh, this one is really, really good. You just give up Critical, and the problem with this one that I found when using it is that you give up too much critical you're already at a pretty low amount with 402 and if you give up the 72 that you get from this wand i feel like not only is your multiplier horrible but you never crit and you get blocked all the time and that difference between you not critting and your opponent critting puts you at a huge disadvantage and i feel like every time i lose on the balance when i'm using this setup i barely lose it's like you know they tank with like 500 or like a thousand and they just cook me and i feel like damn if i had critical and landed a couple more times where even just once on a big hit i would have won the game so it is good but again you do give up that critical there's also the sinbad one which is really nice especially for like a school like balance because you don't really need shads but keep in mind it's not always about you getting shads it's also about your opponent not getting shads early in the game so sinbad one is otherwise extremely nice you get damage critical and pierce uh but again you do lose that shad rating there's also like the uh the druid wands which personally i wouldn't recommend but it is an option uh if you're looking into different stuff and then the cl one is always good because it does also get that may cast which is great for breaking shields or taking blades and doing damage and stuff but i feel like it's a little bit outdated now even though it is still a great one so yeah it really just depends what you want for your setup i usually play around with exact wand but it really depends what i'm doing uh if i need more pip conserve i might switch to like sinbad one it also you have to understand you have to pick what robe you're doing right as i said i'd recommend dragoon robe but let's say you want turquoise robe instead uh now you need to use the exact one you cannot use uh turquoise uh, uh uh, robe with a wand that doesn't have shads you will get out shatted by three to one like every game and just lose because it wins so i would not recommend that uh then like i said i got the uber amulet because you got an open slot this amulet is so good for balance it's just super juicy you got the duelist 100 ring as always i personally use uh, this pet on the balance triple double punishment it's really really good and then since the uh build of the pet doesn't matter you can do it on a philosaur and use this mount to get an extra five damage if you have it otherwise it really doesn't matter it the, the pet that use for balance really just doesn't matter at all um so you can kind of do whatever you want sometimes i even just socket the clockwork courser and give up the five damage and just don't care that i'm using this pet because it doesn't matter uh because pierce is king you know what i mean so it really depends how i'm feeling and then i got the dual stack as well so that is the setup for the balance that i think is the best uh like i said you can kind of play around with the wands and figure out what you like best but yeah that's what i use there are other setups i use for blade stack strats usually with like the spooky robe and then instead of uh the, i'll use like the dragoon amulet to make up for it and then the exact one and my my stats would look something more like this right out of 67 rise with 25 accuracy you can take off a jewel and do other stuff but yeah it's pretty cool i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's a really long one but i wanted to go in detail about the best setups for each school in wizard 101 and kind of just show you guys what's best and what i think is good i did exclude some setups i know there's a lot of niche setups or like people are like yo use you know fire ward on this wizard whatever i kind of just went with the mainstream uh sort of normal universal setups of uh, that everybody has access to so yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video if you guys want more guys like this opposed to you know normal pvp videos please leave a like on the video and let me know in the comments so i know and uh, otherwise yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video uh, i worked really hard on it it took me a while to get everything set up and record it and you know put up the best gear setups and stuff so it mean a lot to me hope you guys enjoy it and i will see you guys in the next video as always peace out guys